everyone! Welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. Just like I said earlier this week, I went to Target to see if they had any Darkness Blaze, and they did. I decided though I'd stick with this free pack blister. Mostly because I feel like it's a better deal compared to the Elite Trainer boxes, and this was the only thing they had otherwise. I guess they're still getting everything in when it comes to products. That's not surprising. And at least this one has a cute Eevee card. But maybe it'll be easier if I just show you guys everything that we get. problem when it comes to promo cards. They always, always end up bending when it's this type of blister. <sighs> but at least the artwork still shows, as well as the speckle hollow here. And this one is number 42 in the promos. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to remove these from the last video. Sorry, you guys. Not that they aren't cool, but today's focus is on Darkness of Blaze, which I have free packs of, as I said. And the one everyone's hoping to find is this guy right here, Eternatus. Especially as a rainbow rare. Me, I'll be happy if I get any sort of ultra rare. Then again, some of you guys probably just like the coins that come with these free pack blisters. Looks like it's Manaphy's turn for a coin this time. Or is this Fione? I kind of have a hard time telling them apart if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but then again, maybe you guys prefer the code card. <laughs> Hopefully you guys get something out of these. My luck tends to be pretty abysmal. Well, not really abysmal, but it varies from time to time. And I guess we'll start with the card we're hoping to find, Eternatus. code card? Well, we're not going to see the color, but you guys get the code. Also, have any of you guys seen an article recently trending on either Bing or Google, one of those search engines, about how some people going to Target or Walmart search under the shelves and find these like 20-year-old booster packs or at least from black and white era? Think I should try doing that? Well, maybe not. My closest target isn't that old. One, two, three, four. At least not that I'm aware of. We've got Leaf Energy, a Vanillish, we got Shenotic. I actually like that one. Makes me think Alice in Wonderland. Ursaring, Carblast. Galarian Darumaka. Then we got Larvitar. Still not sure what the deal is in the tail design, but I'm not one of the designers in Pokemon. We got Nickit, the little trio here. We got a Claymation Bone Sweet. Definitely cute. Our first is Sinistee. And it looks like it's mostly the cup that's showing the face this time. And then, a regular rare Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Well, that was just a first pack. 
Now we got Santa Scorch to open up. And as you can tell, this pack got caught in the machine for the blister packaging. I have to try from the bottom, it looks like. If any of you guys are wondering why I tend to go for the blisters as opposed to the ETBs, it's more for me that I'm on a budget and then tends to fit it better. And because I just collect the cards, I don't actively play the game. Otherwise, an ETB tends to work pretty well. But I've also noticed that lately ETBs don't really have a good pull ratio. I mean, usually I at least get a hollow in the free pack blisters. Well, I'm lucky if I get that sometimes in the most recent ones. I know that's also a golden rare trainer card, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that. We also got Pierce, or maybe it's supposed to be pronounced like Pierce. I don't know. Got another Vanillish. Torchic, that's a cute claymation. But Aaron is so cute. Then we got a little wishy washy. Pan Sage. Tarles is looking epic here. Although the nose is kind of obvious. Our reverse is Wireless. We're really enjoying those apples. And then we got a hollow Agron. And like I said, we usually get at least one pull of hollow or better when I do these blisters. That doesn't mean this is our only pull. Anyway, this only just came out recently, so I may have to go again for more. <laughs> All I know is that Grim Snarl is our last hope if we want to pull anything higher. Will you please give us something? Mwah! Kisses for luck! And I wish I had my old setup so you could see me actually do those little kisses. Uh, but, unfortunately, my original setup for all of this did not work so well. <laughs> or at least decided it was done. <laughs> now, one, two, three, four. And we got... Electric Energy, Debrava, Corvus Squire, Rose, we got Golded, and what the heck is with the wormhole? Are we going to get the Ultra Beast back in here? There's Feebas, Herloin, Hippopotas, Got a Centret. Our reverse is Spike Move. I guess some sort of bar or something. And then one, two, three. A hello, Peppa Coco. <laughs> I know Ando's bugged over this, but I'm at least happy we got more than one hollow. Although he's starting to seem like a bit of a troll nowadays. And I think with that, I'll just head on over to our recap. Well, today's blister opening was a little bit underwhelming. At least we got something out of this, besides our cute Eevee promo here. We also got our Agron Hollow, as well as the Hollow for everyone's favorite troll. Peppa Coco. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment and subscribe if you're new. 
or just want to tell me about something else you think I might want to share on the channel. And as always, I'm your host, Christina, signing off.